Yo, what's up, Bobby? Sounds about right. They do drag him through. I mean, honestly, so I can't blame him. I'm kind of on the same boat. Wait, what? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, right. Right, you do the thing. Right, 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 right. I forgot about that. Right, I do forget that you do those things. 110% for the raw meals. Like, oh, right. You see, I'm a bit dumb when I forget a lot of things, so give me a second. But then again, I was gonna say, like, I can't judge Xander either because I am just as bad. I am pretty hot garbage at, like, most shooters. I'm like, what? What the hell is this? You, you go pew pew. Oh, shoot, look, I see enemy. Oh, I'm dead. Like, that's literally it. It's just like, oh, hey, cool, look at it. Oh, I'll just turn the corner. I'm like, hey, what's shooting me? Oh, I say, hey, I hear a noise. What's that coughing sound? And then all of a sudden, my head explodes, you know? Like, whichever comes first. It's like one of those. Scenarios where I'm like, I'm really not the greatest at paying attention, and so I'm just like, nine times out of ten get shot, and I'm like, well, eh, I kind of expect as much from me. Kind of like. Anyways, let's get this party started! Wow. That... Hello, everybody! What's going on, my Jutsu Judas? It is your the one, the only, Hooray! Go! Hello, everybody. A lot of you have to do now, depending on your time zone, because they take care of everyone here. Today, we are doing. Motherfucking Persona 5, baby! I know it's a little bit weird, and I know I said I wouldn't do this. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm doing a retro. Blah, blah, blah. So, what happened is, uh, family events happened, and I was like, oh shit, I have to be fast about it. And I felt a little guilty if I did retro day to day. So, I was like, okay, what can I do that's fast and quick and that's to the point? And I was like, well, there's nothing. I mean, there's Castlevania, but I can't do that, and I don't have a lot of other. Fuck, I don't have my SAT class. That would have been nice to kind of pick up and put down and just be done with it. I was like, fuck it, you know what? I might as well do Persona 5 because it's a game that I've been meaning to do it and plus this will force myself to. This will literally be like, you know, motherfucker, why don't you do Persona 5? You know, like if someone decides to come in like that. Because, you, know, you know, I get it. People want me to finish series. So I'm like, this will be my excuse to be forced into it, essentially. Like if I'm not going to be forced into it, no one's going to tell me to do it and I'm just never going to. So yes, I'd like to do this online. And also, this is a game I've, dude, I've always wanted to play anyways. Like this, how long has it been? God, when did they, I think this game came out 2017, 2016, something like that. So like right around the time that the Switch was coming out. I remember people were obsessed with this game. There's two games I remember specifically that people were absolutely obsessed with. It was Persona 5 and it was God Eater. There we go. I was like, those were two games that I kept getting advertised and were obsessed with in my life. It was God Eater 3. And ironically, God Eater 3 came a lot sooner than Persona 5. So like... I have that too, and I remember I did stream it a couple times on here, but I just didn't end up doing anything with it, and I haven't gone back to it since, which I was, I'm really mad at myself, because I was super addicted to it during, like, my transition into, like, college, because around, like, it was the end of high school was when that game kind of came out, it was that and in Three Houses, and so, like, I remember I got those, and I was like, oh my god, finally I get to have a game that, you know, but this, I think this is the biggest one, like, next to God Eater, because God Eater, I never went as far as to emulate it. This is the only game, and this is truthful, that I have ever vehemently attempted to get working on an emulator there are a lot of games that i've played on emulation that i ended up buying and involved in to become addiction to my life like you know nmh i think is the biggest one um pandora's tower uh 
Castlevania was one of them? No, Castlevania is one of them. This one, however, is the one that, like, I don't think has impacted me in the same way because I couldn't actually play it. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I love this series. I think it's an amazing series. Do I think it's as a cultural impact as the other ones for me? No. This one, however, is still the one that my childhood self would be dying over. Would be just absolutely gobsmacked. Just a big, wide-eyed, bushy tail. Just like, holy crap, this is real. Hell, wouldn't even announce this. I remember I sat there like, no. No, this ain't real, bro. This ain't real. No, no, no. This cannot be real. This is fake. This is fake shit right here. Oh my god, I cannot believe. You know, like, I was so just fucking in disbelief that we were getting this on a Twitch. I knew it was coming to PC. That I knew. It was like, oh, PC, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, I don't care, you know. Uh, I guess we'll play it on PC, whatever. And then there was the Nintendo Direct, and then they are like, oh, Persona stuff. I was like, oh, it's probably like P3 or P4, and you know, like, that's about it. But no, they had P5, and I was like, N you know, again, I lost it. I was so excited, and I never pre-ordered this game. Oh, I don't have a load series, right, because this is the newest one, duh. Uh, like, no, like, I, I didn't end up pre-ordering it because a lot of other things came out at the same time. Like, I think it was Bayonetta. I'd have to look at my, like, purchase in English. That I know the most. I think it was Bayonetta came out around at the same time. This story is a work of fiction. Okay. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. I never understood this, because, like, no other game has ever had to specify this. Maybe because of the scenarios, I guess, that they got up Only into? those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. So, let me see right here. Uh, oh, right, here it is. Uh, it was... Is it November? Wait, no, that's not right. No, it was October. Okay, I remember this now. So what happened that year, or that year, what happened that month was, Ah, why? Aren't you streaming? What the f- The world is not as it should be. Did you literally just come in here to just bong me on the head, concave my head ever so more, and just be like, Aha, I got you now. Is this for the small comment? Well, you're still small. Doesn't change nothing. Uh, but where was I? I? I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, essentially, that month was literally two Those of the biggest games that I knew would consume my life for a while. And I, I th th that still is technically true, because one of them I'm almost done with, so that one I'm just golden on. However, the other one I haven't finished. I'm telling myself I will. I promise you. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I will finish. I will play it again. I promise. I just need to finish Bayonetta 3, and I can 110% give my energy here. Because it's a game I'm actually kind of liking. I'm having a lot of fun. It's different. It's dynamic. I know I have to play it through it four times. So. It's going to be a lot, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it real good. But yeah, no. So that was the Nier Automata End of Yorha was coming out. And then Bayonetta 3 came out. And I remember I had to decide between either Bayonetta 3 or this game. And I was like, fuck it. I'll take Bayonetta 3. And you know what? I don't think I made a bad decision. So now you may be thinking... Riker, how the hell did you get it then? It's like, well, thank you, astute viewer. Um, I actually got it because it was on sale uh, during Black Friday, which I had to become a little bit confused by because I was like, wasn't this like new like a month ago? And a lot of people were like, yeah, I guess it was. And, you know, it was on sale for like 30 bucks. Uh, so it was like literally half off. Uh, $29.99, I think it was. And then obviously well, it ended up being $30. So it wasn't like too, too bad. I was like, oh my God, this is actually pretty decent of a price. And I said, fuck it. You know what? I'll buy it. It's not a bad price. It's solid. It's a good game. I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be fun. I know I'm going to have a blast with it. It's a 100-hour RPG for like 30 fucking bucks. Hell fucking yeah. He's here. Immediately. So yeah, I, I had the money. I, I said YOLO swag. And you know, that was my Black Friday. Because I, well, I lied. That's two Black Friday things I got. Because there was a micro SD card, a 500 gigabyte micro SD card that I needed to get. And this. Good. Now get running. Those are the two things that I ended up purchasing that day, and can have no regret doing. I'm proud of the you fact that. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Sorry. Anyways, rant over. Uh, conversation over. Let's get on into the game. I feel so bad. Cause it's like, well, if I wanted to hear a man, a madman talk about bunch of games, I'd go watch MGM. Goddamn it! Where's the fucking game? You know? Get it. I get it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll get it. I get it. Showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent. <laughs> 
It's also funny, too, because I remember, um, and, and this is gonna be, like, a Riker time with his memory. Look, I remember I played this game, again, on emulator for PS3. I remember playing this game in five frames, and I never got past this point, because at one point, I got stuck. The game would not let me progress. So I just gave up, because it was just so laggy, so bad. And I could never understand, this was, like, really early on. I want to say, like, 20s. Like, it was, like, I think a year after the launch of this game that I was so hell-bent on playing it. Like, again, everyone would not shut the hell up about it. And I'm like, God damn, I want this game. God dang it. And I didn't want to buy a PS4 because I was like, this is ludicrous. That's dumb. I'm not going to buy a PS4 for just this one game. And, I mean, obviously, later on, they had the Requiem collection, which I was like, ah, maybe. But even then, it was like, it's not worth it. I heard it wasn't that great. So I was like, ah, I'll take the L on this one. I'll just, like, wait for it to go, go on other consoles. And now it is. And, you know, obviously now I have it on PC because someone was super kind enough to get me PS, uh, P4 Golden on PC. Uh, I'm debating if I want to get it on, on Switch. And then there's obviously P3 Portable, which I know from what I've heard, it's like there's a lot of things. So I'm like, I might as well just take the copy I have. With FDE. And I'm like, ah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm chill with that. Oh, I could do gun. Gun. And for his neutral special, Joker wields a gun. Pew, pew, pew. There we go. We're done. So I just wanted to pew, pew. That's fun. I, I just, I don't know why. It's so funny to me. It's just that like, he's just like, hey, yo, pull out the blicky real quick. Just all of a sudden. It just hella fucking, it, it makes me laugh a little bit inside. Because it's not something that you would expect for a JRB. Especially, like, one of these where it's very turn-based heavy. And it's involving a lot of, like, different combat mechanics and stuff like that. And it's nice. It's nice. I love, I've always loved realistic, well, not realistic. But modern day JRPG, you get what I mean? Like, it's set in the modern day, but it still has those JRPG elements. Which reminds me, there's another game that I that's coming out next year that's very much like in the same vein, but not different in the sense. Where it's like, it's taking more real-life elements a lot more, but it's like a half RPG, half life thing. And called uh, Loop 8 by Marvelous. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. If anybody's heard of it, like, hey, let me know, because I've never heard of it. I don't know if it's a series. I have no idea. But what I know is it looks fucking amazing! And I... What makes me sad, too, is that a lot of those, like, JRPGs, especially from, like, Marvelous and a couple of those other, like, underground NIS America, don't really get advertised to me because Nintendo doesn't care about it. The companies themselves don't care about it. Like, I just don't get that. And how I find them is really strange. It's, like, literally me just going through Amazon listings. Literally, I'm just, like, one day I'm... I have to be really bored. Like, I have to be exceedingly fucking bored. Like... You know, I got, I did all my work, I have nothing to watch, I have really nothing else, or I'm just brain dead that day, and I'm just like, I don't want to do nothing. I just, like, go through Amazon to see, like, oh, what am I, what one day can I get when I'm a little bit richer? Yes, in the finest range, when I am able to afford this, what may I pull purchase from Amazon? So, like, that's what I do, and sometimes I also look, like, looking at the comments, because, you know, the reviews on Amazon are fucking wild sometimes, it makes me laugh, I'm like, Jesus Christ, did someone, they all just eat all the like good good juice before doing this the 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 goddamn crazy juice the shit be wildin and so like you know i i sometimes go on like games and stuff and some uh, especially like on days when i'm like having to do like uh statistical analysis what i mean by statistical analysis like oh whenever i have to go through my financial stuff and i have to like look at like the following year be like oh what games do i want like what is my monetary like what am I looking at monetarily? What can I do to approve that? How do I do X, Y, Z thing? Blah, 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 blah. You know, so on and so forth. So, like, you know, I have to go on Amazon to check prices, check dates, check a lot of things. So, Amazon is, like, my best friend in a lot of ways. So, you know, again, I think it was looking at... I don't remember what it was. I think it was either... Huh? What? Uh, I want to say it was, like... Um... I want to say it was like a JRPG. I could I couldn't tell you. I think it was either Rune Factor. Um, oh, I don't think it was. I was gonna say Suikoden, but it's not Suikoden. I looked at because I don't think Suikoden's on Amazon yet. It was Breath of It was either like Rune Factory, Breath of the Wild, something in that. No, I remember now. It was the detective game, the one by the guys who uh, from the guy who made um, uh, Dongan Rampa because he's making a detective a detective game and it has some like sort of like uh, kind of Professor Layton elements and. Like JRPG elements, and yeah, fuck it. It's different, it's unique, and I don't play a lot of those sort of like puzzle-ish games, anyways. And I like them a lot. I love story, like um, uh, story-based games, especially you know, like um, visual novels. And so, like, I don't play them often. There's been a numerous, like, I know there's a Famicom one I wanted to try at some point, but I, that's like for later on. Like, I'm not any pressing matter to do them. I'm just like, I would love to at some point do them. 
because they're different and I don't, you know, let, and it kind of forces me to do a lot of more voice acting as well. Like, I don't know, I love doing that sort of stuff. So, me, I'm like, I want a reason to do them. That's why I love them. But anyways, getting back to the uh, crux of the conversation. Uh, so, like, uh, I essentially was looking at one of those, uh, the detective game. And so, I saw that game. I was like, Loop 8. I was like, what the hell is Loop 8? Fuck. And I then clicked on it. And I was like... Oh my god! I then like I was obviously like having to scroll through, and I looked at it, and I looked at the trailer, and I was like, "This is fucking great! What the hell?" And then I was like, "Oh, who's making this? I, I need to know. I need to understand. Like, what what company? Because god damn, does it look clean? God damn, does it feel good? See all that like kind of combat, all the storylines, all of it, and 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 all these like different things, and it has some sort of like, you know, like uh kind of fire emblem -y stuff where you build bonds. Well, not that's more." on E, but I'd say Fire Emblem E. It, it reminds me more of Fire Emblem, the way that you kind of sit down in an area, talk to them, so on and so forth. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, like, it's kind of Fire emblem -y in that sense, and uh, I was like, who's the, who's the company? And then it was Marvelous. I was like, oh, absolutely, I gotta get this now. Problem is, it's, like, immediately after, I, like, three games come out, which is Fire Emblem Engage, which looks amazing, and I highly recommend you check it out. Seriously, even some of the newest trailers. Just, oh! Right delicious! Now. It's uh, Joker, um, so there's that, and then there's obviously, uh, like, my throat is dying on me, um, Octopath 2, because, you know, I bought Octopath 1, I remember that shit being fucking banger, like, just the, mwah, the renaissance of the JRPG back on Nintendo, Nintendo for a while was a powerhouse of the JRPG, and then obviously became PlayStation, now it's back to Nintendo, like, let's go, Nintendo, Let's go, Nintendo! Let's go! Anyways, um... Yeah, so, like, I saw that, and I was like, oh, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. And then there is, I think in the same month, uh... Tales of Vesperia... No, Vesperia? No, not Vesperia. Um, Symphonia. There it is. I was like, what the fuck was it called? It's one of the Tales series. It's the one from GameCube. And I remember people... That's, like, the most popular one. To me, the one I always kept seeing was Vesperia. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I want to check it out. I think it's good, it's great, you know, blah, blah, blah. I need to finish it. And I was doing it on camera, but, like, anyways, besides the point. Uh, people, like, always tell me to play Symphonia. Now that I play partially, um, Tales of, uh, Vesperia. So, fine, 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 I'll do it whenever I get a GameCube. Because the GameCube one out here is the best one. And it seems to be that that's the one that they're using the HD one. So, I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. It's cheap, I'll, I'll deal. But yeah, and then I was like, okay, then after that, there's really not much for those, like, two months between, like, um, March and April. Not really. And, uh, what ended up happening was, I saw, you know, I was like, oh, I want to add Loop 8 into the, into the mishmash. And I was like, oh, shit, it's in March. So that'd be, like, four games in the span of, like, three months. I'm like, financially, I don't think I can do that. Like, I can do three. I can barely squeak out three. Two is easy for me. Like, I can, one, no, actually, one is easy. Two, I can manage with two. Three, it's like, okay, we're really having to, to budget things hardcore. But I can get away with it. Take just an obscene amount of push and pull but like i can and then four it's like holy crap i must have goddamn won the lottery or like i got hella oh fuck whoops my bad i meant to do like the tiger i was not paying attention and so i just love the music in this game and i love the splash art just look at that oh it's so god I never thought I'd see this man. I think that's the last of them. Hell yeah. I have no clue what just happened, but I did you okay? Uh, do you not have visual? Is it only like auditory? You need to do you just hear like that? Wouldn't you hear her voice too? Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Yup. It is my job. Then I won't stop you. I also remember when this character was announced. I I did not like the mask. I don't know if I still like the mask. Though. Like I I know like it's been. I think 2019 this game came out. Like I think it was. I, I gotta look up when Royal Royal came. However, please don't forget the promise we made. Okay. Um. Royal, right? Boy. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh. I've.
2019. There we go. So it was like two years, I think, either two or three years after its initial release, when they made the definitive edition. Joker, you need to get out of there. And it would have been October. But yeah, this would actually have been my my All freshman right, year of college, actually, because um graduated 2019. Like yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and I remember sort of 2019 being this very weird state where I was like, you know, obviously, I'd say adultish because like I was obviously out a lot more. I was doing a lot of things. Also, had to do kind of crux of things and i think that was also the start of like when i started doing this like more seriously because i uh, picked it up back in 28 doing this i know a lot of people that's been fun. not here though on twitch i think i started around 2019 2020 i don't remember it like streaming at least vtubing that's a whole different matter entirely like i've been doing this four years total for streaming one year, I think, on YouTube, then before turning. Completely closed off. Hey, can you make it? Uh. Over there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Like, I think a year on YouTube, and I remember this was like back in 2018 when like YouTube was not viable to stream. Now it is, and I'm like, man, did I just? I fucked myself over, huh? I chose the golden years of Twitch streaming to be on YouTube, and then I've chosen the golden years of streaming on YouTube to be on Twitch. And I'm like, god damn it. What is, there is something severely wrong with me, or I have the weirdest, worst time or worst guesses in my life. Because I have terrible like guesses timing. Sometimes I come on the weirdest timing on a lot of things. So like you know, I I remember like being like fuck this, I'm gonna switch over to Twitch, and you know I started streaming as like a a kind of nameless, voiceless streamer. Like I didn't have anything as a representation of me. I just had kind of just my voice. So I had to talk a lot more. I had to be more serious. I had nothing to represent myself at all and so i remember like i didn't know what vtubing was at the time i knew like an eye but i didn't know it was viable to do that sort of thing i was like oh it's probably just a corporation like, oh that's cool. like, another product blah, blah blah but no it became more and more viable i'd say around like my time on youtube in 2019 and 2020 and i think i think 2020 was where i hardcore really wanted to do it and i had the money to fuck it yolo swag it let's go for it and you know here we are now two years later still doing it still kicking and we got we're going on to a third year do me. That's crazy to me to think about. Like, I've been doing this for three whole years. I think each year has been better and better, and I've been growing in festival ways. And I, I think to me, I am blessed to have the community I have today, and I'm blessed for the people I have around. I am beyond, like, blessed, proud, so happy to have such amazing people as friends and amazing. You know, community members just being able to do some of these crazy things that I don't think I would have been able to do coming back when I was like first starting out like 20 uh 2019 you know, back when I was no in high school off. hell I've been doing this for a lot longer than that like just content creation in general but like you know when I started this Still whole kind of shtick of Riker I think back in like, my high school year kind of like if I went back to like my senior year of high school I don't think I'd be able to reflect on this oh I totally know that I would you want another shot um, <laughs> so like to me, I, I, it just kind of puts me in a position of like, man, if only I could, you know? and I think that's everyone goes through that moment. So you're not that uh, and I know I'm talking over this, so I do apologize in advance. If you guys want me to shut the fuck up, I will. Like I will just shut up. And I think it's just, to me, I, I want to have this moment because like, I know. I don't know if I'll be here for like Justice, Christmas or something, I and like obviously for the new year, I want to talk about some things. Obviously, I think for the more towards New Year's Eve, I think I'll talk more about like the upcoming things. But I think I want to take this opportunity right now, and, and also Crimbus, like when that ha if I am around on Crimbus, like reflect, because I don't I don't get that opportunity to talk to you guys like head on and and have this sort of self reflection with you guys and also just with myself, because these are a lot of things that sometimes I struggle with where I'm like. You know, I, I don't look at the bigger picture. Sometimes I'm in the moment. I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm not doing great. Or fuck, that was a bad stream. Fuck, I could have done this. Better. Fuck. But then I'm like, in retrospect, and I think I back on it. I'm like, yeah, I could have improved on this and this and this. And I still admit to that. But do I think as a whole it was bad? No, because I met a lot of good things. There's a lot of positive things. But it's just in those moments of like deep, deep seated, like sadness, frustration, or, you know, like uh, anger. Uh, I just don't really, uh, well, I wouldn't say anger. I'd say more frustration, like sadness and frustration. 
and kind of like my my inner voice of like doubt uh you know that that really does kind of like it gets to you eventually especially in this sort of industry where you're kind of like sometimes i don't know i don't know if i'm doing great sometimes i don't know if i'm doing going to make well i could be doing better what could i do proven so i can't always rely on others to then tell me sometimes i have to be the one to that step in no it's a middle ground of meeting in the, of like oh i asked for help and then i asked people to work, but also kind of taking my own steps in it because at the end of the day you could ask a thousand people or sorry you could be talking to like you know 500 people on this thing and each person would want something distinctly different out of it so like me trying to to do it i think is impossible and i think a little uh brazen of me at that oh i know everything i know what and i know how to make this function that's you know that's brazen that's very arrogant but by the same token i also have to like be able to look and say no i think this is a good idea or like no i think this could do well i just need time i just need this opportunity blah, blah 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 i need to do this better make this work because there there have been a lot of things in the past i have fought tooth and nail with people on and like especially this Channel. like i mean obviously it's just me 90 percent of the time it's literally me i don't no one else runs everything i run it this idiot is is this slipping the whole you know, you know what i mean like it's me but i do ask for opinions i do ask for like people i saw go outside yeah sometimes it point something out that you yourself or or someone else and close to you may not see. uh so i do look at that but by the same token, sometimes the way that they look at things is also just different from the way I look at things and how I'm trying to angle myself. So, like, maybe they're, like, viewing it as in the way that I'm angling now. They're like, oh, you could do this. But I'm like, no, 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 I'm angling myself this way. So, like, I need to do this a little better. I need to prove on this this. But I can see where your advice is. Some of that advice and the transition. And I've done that. I think I've met that huge middle ground because I'd say beginning I was very... I was very hard-headed and very, very arrogant. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it my way. And no one will tell me otherwise. It's my way on the highway. And now it's sort of like, oh, you know, I hey, I need to listen. Opinion. But I think during, say, like, the middle years of me doing this, I took everyone's advice to heart. I think to a, a, a massive extreme where I took everything and I just... And I realized... Some of them don't end up being like home runs as people think they are because, oh, maybe the way that the channel's set up or just XYZ. Not everything's gonna land beautifully the way you'd want it to. May not even be what's right for you. It's kind of like how it's like, ask your doctor if this medicine's right for you. Kind of the same thing for like streaming and, and the th stuff that I create. Too. It's like, it may not be right for them, uh, for them or the way that they view it or for me, the way that uh, they do it. And it's, not out of a lack of attempt, um, it's the way that I operate. It's kind of the same thing with my uh, editing style. Like, there's certain things that I know I should do it better. Uh, wait, what? I spelt it with... Whoops. There we go, finished. I had to get the protagonist's last name. Was the protagonist's name? And I was like, technically they changed it. Because technically the project's canonical name and I'm a Mia, but I know me, but this area is some people it designated Ura Sursu. So I was like, Fuck, what is the? Because I think that's I been the biggest know. thing. Because I need I know what the other pro tags they actually have a hardcore canonical. I don't think they've changed. But with this pro tag, they just did not have. Prosecutor's office. What business do you have here? Just also, by the, by the by, I should say this now. There's something I um, need to confirm with the suspect. I will be doing an extra stream next week on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Uh, and for the reasoning of this stream is going to be 
omega short. Like we're talking like either an hour or slightly less than an hour, and that is mainly due to the fact that. I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Um, oh yeah, it's gonna be less than an hour because I only have like left on the clock. I'm really Science. sad because I. It's not that I didn't want to start earlier. It's uh, you, uh, you know, I had to do some editing stuff. Yeah, and I'm I'm become very busy this time of the year, especially setting up for the end of the year and kind of like. Talking about what's gonna happen um, on New Year's Eve, I'm um, that beginning or whatever X Y Z thing, so I can you know because I really do want to discuss that with you guys. I really do want to explain sort of my my roadmap to next year and how next year is really gonna be my uh, a make or break year for me because I think that's where I'm gonna put all of my hard work that I've been working on for all of this year. Where I thought a lot of things would pan out this year, a lot of things kind of changed. I had a lot of issues in the background. I had a lot of things like kind of didn't plan pan out as I wanted to, kind of fell apart. So like I think next year I've taken this opportunity. You no, know, this is the year I just hardcore am just going to like it, it's my year of reinvention. I'd say because if this year was the year of attempts or the year of uh, failed attempts, because initially I was gonna call this year as a year of um evolution but i think i didn't evolve all that much i stumbled a lot of what mine where i wanted i've landed on case. things i want to do now and i do want to keep improving and adding more things things but i think where i've kind of found my self kind of like leaning to direction and i think next year is going to be the year of reinvention where i'm going to really try my best to do a lot of the things that get to do much, uh happen things that i didn't anyways i i won't i'm talking ear off let me shut up I'm going to talk more about that uh, when Foster, that comes up during the news. Something oh, important. Regardless. But Your seriously, I I want to appreciate all y'all doing this sticking with for all this time. Y'all y'all are really the true MVP. Y'all, I, I know people always say like, oh, Riker, he's the true MVP. He's doing this. No, no, no. Bro, I'm just being myself. I'm being up in the whole line. I could do that literally on the street. Right now, you know, I, I could be a, a clown if I really needed to, like, become the clown of the circus. But no, I'm choosing to be the clown online. So it's not, like, really that big of a thing. But the fact that you guys keep coming back, keep wanting to join, keep wanting to have fun. Titties! Yes. I love boobies! How's it going? <laughs> no. No, don't quote that! No! I just realized I said that a lot! Fuck! I'm stupid! Why did I say that? Ah! Oh, I... Ugh! Oh. Damn it, Sumi! You sit. Y'all me in the heat in the moment. Didn't expect to be you. How you doing, Sumi? Ooh, eating and playing. Ooh, oh, ho ho ho! No, why didn't that work? Hey, Bonk, what the fuck? You'll be answering my questions this time. Uh, oh, hydrate. Give me a second. Well, I guess I got a message typo now because this shit ain't working. Oh, God damn it. Now you get to see it firsthand, Sumi, because I remember I was always telling you, like, oh, remember how I say I'm always technically like typo's unofficial beta tester, bug tester, essentially? Yeah, this is why. Cause it, it was connected right. Like I even looked at VTube Studio. The things were connected right. The ports are right, and I'm like, never work. I'm logged in. Everything should technically be working fine. Almost anything can. Oh my fuck me! And I can't stop. God damn it! Why did it never work for me? And it worked yesterday. I know it worked yesterday because I did hydrate and I got pelted with the hydration. Like I know it works. your objective? But it just, at this point, is like, decided, oh, today's the day. Oh, no, not today. Oh, no, not today. I'm going to work. No, no. And I was like, fuck, man. I'm better flipping a coin at this point. Like, shit. 
Does it have a randomization function on whether or not it's gonna work today? Like, what? For prosecution. I know it's not him, it's just like probably um, it's a user error, but I don't know, man. Like, there's been some weird things I've discovered with his thing more often than not. And I'm just like, how the hell did I even do? It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. This isn't an issue of whether or not it can be used in court. I need to know. This is my case, after all. Fair enough. Hey, it's Ballad, I can't get... Parent. I can't get... Oh, I'll be about it. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. I'll try my best, Chief. But how? But uh, what? What you eating there, Sumi? Did you cook it yourself? I'm curious. You know, you, know, you always cooking. Like I'm, what's you cooking up today? But I'm really feeling it. Would have been this. One. I do love that one. That's like one of my favorites. I will remind me, Sumi, that I will do that for you. Uh, pasta and lentils. Fair. Nothing too special today. Cause I remember you used to post all the time about your cooking. I was like, oh hell yeah, Sumi cooking. Let's go. Oh great! Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for the thanks for the pep talk. I always like found that strange. It's like ah, your chances are zero. Then why are you here? I beg you, please overcome this game and save the world. Save the world. I'll try. The key to victory lies within the memories of your bonds, the truth that you and your friends grasped. The truth. What? That I I I farted in the pool that one time. Is it, it really is this game actually like only a year or only like less than a year? Fuck, like, I thought it was a full year, huh? Maybe I'm crazy. Yay! I want to save my progress. Hell yeah! Uh, do I continue? Onward! Oh look, I'm I'm just regular old teenage boy on the train, taking an honestly, dude, I would not feel comfortable taking an app on it. I've done it once, ever again. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! How you doing? Nacho? It's been a while. What you been up to, boy? I said, you know, I said, fuck it. I have it on Switch. Today's gonna be a very short stream as a YOLO swag. Let's do it. Which th this also this scene also makes like zero sense legally. Damn brat! I'll sue. Yeah, you'll sue him for assault when you were committing assault as well. Wouldn't that be counterproductive? I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Plus, there could also be, like, witnesses, because this seems to be a residential area. I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure someone could have just, like, one of the officers could have knocked and be like, did you hear anything the night of the, of this case? And been like, hey, yeah. Like, whatever. You get that full picture. Maybe that's just, yeah, I'm looking. That's, that's how it is. I mean, plus, this also forces me to then play all the personas. The spoiler, spoiler. And can spoiler. <laughs> Damn! They're all spoilers, shit! I knew it, he was always a spoiler in a car. He go vroom vroom in the night, what the hell? Ha 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 ha, it is I. Your old hen itself. <laughs> I had to laugh a little. Fun, funny. You know, he's just smiling. He's giving me a big old smile like Jock Skellington. On the night that I, I woke up, Santa beat 
gone. You know, I was like, hey, Jack, what happened? He's like, oh, you know, Santa just left for, uh, for a while. You know, he put one on break for a little bit. He'll be back. Hints. And I'm gonna tell you right now, because I don't know, uh, Nitro, did you, like, I know you're on the fence about getting this game, because I, I don't, wait, did you get this game? I don't remember. Got this more recently, but, like, if you're on the fence about it for Switch, thus far, it's pretty good. Like, it runs well, I don't see any dips. I mean, granted, we're not in combat, yet. Yeah. Not even combat. But I'm like, I, if it's Shin Megami Tensei like, and I know fives on this, but then again, five runs, like, pretty bad. Ah, it runs not great. Yeah, it runs really good, dude. <laughs> like, obviously, you're gonna lose some, like, small graphical fidelity stuff, but, like... Otherwise, it runs at a crisp... I think it was, like, 30 frames a second? <coughs> 60? I think it's 60. I think it's 30. But I could be wrong. Could be... I think it's during... No, I think it's during uh, gameplay at 60. I think during, like, overall of its... Is it 30? Okay. Apt... Okay, I don't... I was like... I know some of the games... On. But I mean, this is one of those, like, miracle ones where I'm like, ah! Because there's this one, there's, uh, Nier, which also ran, I think, at 30 frames cap. Which, fuck, dude, that thing ran like a dream. Ah! It was so good. Use the right stick if you're able to rotate the camera. If you press B to blah, 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 got it. Talk to people. Oh, I get to talk to people. Yeah, the thing I never do in reality. Because I don't like talking to people. So wait, I think I have to go to the coffee shop, right? And I gotta do... And I think it's closed. Yes. Oh, hi, cat. It's Kit. I like Kit. Ba -dum -ba 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 -da. That's... Really? That's dumb. What? Sony's on something else, dude. They're on that crack shit. <laughs> Alice, you can patch your games, you know? I'm like, well, I think they're just lazy. I think they're just like, ah, no one's gonna care. Looks like no one's home. And that hurts. That oh, makes yeah. me so Soccer mad, dude. I'm just like thinking about them like, you dickheads. It's like the, you know what, I, this isn't the first time that Alice has done that though, you have to admit. Because I think the worst offender of that was SMT3, Nocturne HD Remastered. Where they literally took the built-in Dante DLC in the original America version and said, Fuck it, we're making a DLC. I'm like, what? What are you on about? That was in the game initially. That's essentially you stripping the game bare and just being like, ah, we'll give you... We'll give you the chunks back. Here, here's your organs if you pay us. Like, what the fuck? Those are my organs to begin with. What the fuck? What sort of pay to win bull? What, what sort of pay bullshit is that? Oh, God. I, I'm still in bitter. Because I, I think the only DLC I bought was the Dante one. Exactly, and I think it's bad too because of the fact that they didn't actually um, rectify the problem with the um, what's it called? Um, uh, the other uh, um, the audio. So like the the music is still bit crushed. They never unpressed. They just left it compressed, and so I remember when playing it, I was like, "Why? Oh, it sounds so grody. It's crunchy. What the hell?" How frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in for farming. Ha ha ha. Oh, right. Okay. True. But uh, can we just say, at least with that one, we'll it had everything involved? So by technicality, I'd still say it's worse. 
for the sheer fact that at least Sega was decent enough to be like, here's everything. Because they could have been dickheads and been like, here, we're taking away the Chaos Emeralds and making it a thing. Like they almost did with Forces. They were like, oh, you gotta pay for it eventually. And people were such in huff about it. string of those rampage accidents, you know. Did they actually? No. I didn't know that. Really? Oh, that's so dumb. What the heck? Damn, those guys suck. Oh, that's awful. That's stupid. Four hours for just. So, you're the guy. Yeah, it's me. Hit me. I'm Sojiro Sakura. Hey, look, it's Sojiro. I was wondering what kind of it's, unruly kid. Well, I, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say the other one because that's a, a lot of people have certain <clears throat> uh, feelings about Sojiro uh, and certain sentiments. I'm like, hmm, have you yes. Been told uh, a customer of mine and your parents know each other, and well, not that that matters. Follow me. I think aren't I supposed to go upstairs and then he like dipped out? I need to, like. I say this it, but I'm like, your room. I, I, I know this is really, I know, that's why I said this was going to be, like, one of the fastest lovers, and I'm not, Let I'm not proud of this you. fact, and I'm going to probably pick this game up again next Wednesday, just kind of to make it up, the fact that we're, well, and then also next Thursday, I got to pick up again, uh, Live Alive, which I will continue doing, fucking love Live Alive, dude, that is a game that rocks. You look like you want to say something. Oh yeah. Hey, it's it's home. It's on you to clean up the rest. For real? <laughs> yeah. We haven't even gotten to him yet. Damn it. It is a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night for a curse. Da 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 I had to do the one reference. Yeah, really. For real? <laughs> oh, God, I love that man. Oh, I, I, he's just... He, he's a lovable... He's like me! He's a lovable idiot that you're just like, Oh, you can't be mad at. It's like, oh... He's just so innocent. He doesn't understand. That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. And listen, Ink, I would like to say, well. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Wow, thanks for treating my but parents like shit. About anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. Nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Cause any problems, and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. Shit. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin? Huh? I love how the only answer is act stupid. It's just like literally just act like I have like a literal thumb up my ass. Uh, uh. <laughs> like, bro, come on. We'll there have to have been better responses than that. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Oh, that's a good time. Just go to Your school on a Sunday. A ago. I brought it up here for you. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. Thanks, homie. Did you did you do the alchemy halls or are you just like oh the pain and the agony? Also, I'm gonna have to end it here. Real for real. I gotta I gotta call it. So I, I am so sorry since this is literally just starting off and I feel like such an ass, but I'm like, I, I literally have a family matter to attend to, and I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> hopefully we can get to the late game part before uh Christmas. Uh hopefully hopefully. I will try. I, again, this is like now I have set this in motion to the point where I'm like, now I have to finish it. Then again, I've also done that with Persona 4, and I'm like, I haven't finished that. But I think this one, I, I have to do it before I finish 4, and then I'm going to go back to 4 on P. We're going to finish that, I promise you. I want to see what happens with my boy Teddy. <laughs> God damn it, Teddy, the fluffy, fluffy boy.
Well, thank you, Nitro. I appreciate that. And I hope you get better, Ink. Seriously, get some aspirin. I hope. Get get some cafe, whatever you need. All right, you guys take care. I will see you guys all tomorrow, which will be something special. I promise you, it's going to be fun. All right, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are really the Gs. I mean, I was talking about earlier, but y'all are the reason I continue doing this. Y'all are really... Anyways, take care. Keeping your I'll see you guys all next time. At the end of the day, it's doing 10,000 other things. Please time with me. It means a lot. I'll see you guys later. I lied. Haha, <laughs> I lied. JK. <laughs> We're going to continue a little bit. Haha. <laughs> uh, I was about to leave. Just kidding. <laughs> I just got, I literally was getting a text and being told right now that I'm like, it's chill, we could, I could stay a little bit longer, so I'm like, fuck! <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, I'll appreciate it. I guess we're doing it anyway, haha, -ha! we're going! I get to take out my clothes, just like how I normally do anyways, because fuck, I have a lot of clothes. I guess I should organize the, yeah, I probably should. It's dusty. Oh, dude, this actually sounds awful for my allergies. <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel like such a Because I'm like, I'll see you guys. And I'm like, ha <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but I, you got your bait in. Ch -ch 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh, trust me, I jabated myself. Because I was, I was ready. I was like, I gotta get out of here now. And then. <laughs> They're doing a dance. But I, I mean, would, I don't know. Would you guys live in an attic? I'm curious. It's like, I, I don't think I would, though. Like, TBH. Like, knowing my ass and knowing that my fear of spiders, I'm like, fuck that shit, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Uh, these are all unused household items lying around. It's not organized at all. Yeah, I mean, this is an attic. So, in technicality, he wouldn't organize it. I mean, who organized it? Fuck that shit. I ain't getting close to it. Have you ever... Okay. Granted. Granted. This is also because I live in, in, a, in a place where black widows exist. So, like... I'm... Call me a little precaution... Like... You know, a cautionary tale. I don't like it when I see a very, very dark colored spider. I'm like, fuck that. Because I'm like, I either have two things. It's either a black widow or a regular old spider. I'll take the spider. But I don't want to take chances that it's a black widow. Because that ass, my ass is going to be flat on the ground there. I'm like, fuck that. I ain't taking chances, man. I take no prisoner. Yeah, so like, I, I kind of have to feel a little certain way. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm a responsible adult. Well, child, listen, man, I'm good. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Hell yeah! Thank you. Thank you for appreciating my cleaning skills. You know, I should be in the pro the cleaning business. No, it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Trust me. It, uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. My room is a fucking mess. Well, granted, okay. It's a mess in certain areas. My bed is a fucking disaster. But, like, everything else is, like, pretty decent to put together. And it's because, like, everything else I take care of. But, like, my bed, I'm just like, I cannot be arsed. Especially, like, sometimes I wake up, like, just bleh, falling out of bed, just not wanting to get out. Because I'm like, I don't want to. I don't, don't want to. I'm well, like, I fucking have to. I just roll out of it and just get up, make my breakfast smoothie. And I get on with it. Go to bed for but, like, my, my, my computer space, be for the most part, is clean. Like, I keep, I keep that shit clean. Because I don't want it to be, like, a mess. Especially since I have a bunch of cartridge stuff. Because, like, I have, like, four different baggies of cartridge. Which, because, you know, a strike breaker has a problem. I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. Also, does he have to use beard wax? Because, like, his beard is in the way that it's, like, going out. I'm like, damn, dude. This man must really work hard on that beard. Because, damn. That's, that's a nice beard. Yeah. I know some guys use beard wax, and I'm like, I, I don't know. 
Like I, I, I know I could technically because I do, I do have other facial. Hair. I could use like the, the, the wax. That, I'm like, I don't know. I never found a necessity. Yeah, he's got the style. Wait, Ink, if you're still around, sorry, Ink, if you're still, if you left, I totally understand. But like, if you're still here, did, I, did you, did you talk about using a uh, beard oil or stuff like that? Because I don't remember. I think we did talk about that. I, but maybe my memory is completely and utterly failing me on this one. Go to sleep. Cool. But, like, I don't wanna. Bruh. Bruh. You know what? I, you know what's the one meme that I always know about this game? That I, It's the only meme that I know about. And it's, uh, go the fuck to sleep with, like, freaking Morgana. It's, like, Morgana vibing during the day at night. Go the fuck to sleep! And I'm like, what the fuck do you want me? Damn it, cat. Why the fuck are you trying to hold me hostage? I'll sue! Oh my god, it is an extra bonus music pack. What the fuck? And it's like five bucks. What the hell? They're smoking crack. If they think that I'm gonna pay five bucks for extra music, you're you're actually just stupid. I am not about to do that. I I could just go on YouTube. iTunes exists. I want to listen to music. I'll go buy the music. Not in the fucking game. That's that's redundant. Dude, honestly, I kind of feel the exact same way, except the only difference is with Sonic Forces. I wholeheartedly regret pre-ordering that game. For the sheer fact that it immediately, and I bullshit you not, it went on sale, like, I think a week or, like, a week and a half after. And I'm like, fuck, I paid, like, 60 bucks, and I could have bought this for 40. I could have saved, like, 20 bucks. Shit. Like, I have never regretted a purchase so much. Granted, it wasn't that I bought the game. It's that I should have bought this when it was, like, 20 bucks like, there's, there's not a lot of games I hardcore regret. I think there's only one, and that was with, um, the, oh, yeah, there it is. The three, uh, Mario 3D, uh, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. That one, I, true, but it's not $60 worth of good. I'll admit that. It's good, but it's, like, $40 good, not 60 That is not, like, uh-uh. That, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. But, uh, no, no, no. Like, for me, at least, um... A game that I massively regret was 3D, uh, 3D World. For the sheer fact that I initially bought it, and then I immediately regret it because, like, I, I not, I'm not playing this with anyone. I'm literally not gonna play this with anyone. And also, at the same time that was coming out, uh, Caligula Effect was coming out. Uh, Caligula Effect 2, that was the game. I own the original. You wanna know how much that game costs now? You wanna know? A hundred dollars! And that shit was, like, 40, 50 when it came out. So I'm like, it literally, quite literally doubled in price. Yeah, it quite literally doubled in price. And I literally cannot find it anywhere. Not even the company that made it has it on sale anymore for the Switch. They only have it for PS4. And I'm like, I am so royally screwed. And I want it bad because I own the original. So I'm like, Like, I remember the original also not being that expensive. Now it's jumped up in price. It's gone up to, like, $90. I'm like, thank God I bought this when I did. But now I can't buy the sequel because I don't have $100. And that's for new. Unopened is, like, 80 So I'm like, I don't want... At that point, I'll just buy the unopened one. So at least it'd be brand spanking new and I don't know it has any problems or missing anything. Like, Switch games are expensive, man. Especially the rare ones. Like the like are the rare RPGs, like there's that one, there's um uh I think uh I think it was something Ryzen. Um God, I don't remember the name of the life of me, but it's like one of the uh the the like it's a magical girl sort of thing and it's been an ongoing series. Yeah, that one. There's like three sequel no, there's a there's original, the sequel game, and then the, the newest sequel that's him. Yeah, all of them are hella expensive. He's They're all at least a hundred dollars easily. Because trouble. no one cared for it on Switch. It failed to make sales and then they just didn't reprint them. So, like, in technicality, I didn't, 
you know, it, it kind of backfired on me. So, uh, eh, 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 I'm crying. Help. I'll, I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not going to take you seriously. What the fuck? Also, why is this? I, you and I both know it, my friend. It's horrendous. Except for certain games. Like, I know, uh, the, because I want to get Dark Cells, and, uh, or Dark Cells, Dead Cells. What the fuck? Dead Cells for the, obviously, the Castlevania stuff uh, that's coming out soon. And I wanted to get it for Switch. So I was like, how much is it? And I'm like, well, technically the newest copy of it, because it's the original copy that they sold. That's expensive. But for some reason, the newest, the Game of the Year version that came out with all the DLC and everything, is cheaper and i had to sit there and wonder Get in the car. how is that cheaper like how is the original more expensive than the reprint and the reprint has more stuff in it how does that make any sense like, you just need to shut your like mouth. i don't get that that like, that's literally the equivalent of me being like oh hold on let me buy there's like let's say shimigami tensei 5 as an example i don't know why that's my example that's my example and they had DLC with it. So then I said, oh, they, they reprinted it with the DLC. But the original is expensive. But the DLC one, no, 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 that's cheap. I'm like, but the game in total would technically cost me over $100 to buy it with all the stuff originally and or digitally. But physically, it's cheaper. Okay, you? sure. Get out of my face. This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See, this is all because you're so damn slow. Yeah, I guess so. I guess people, either people just really want the original uh, box art or they just want the original game and they're just like, fuck, I don't care about the DLC, which to me just kind of is like baffling. What? Kind of not that. Like, thank God they didn't do that for like uh, Sonic uh, or no, not, um, Sonic, Sonic Mania or they did that with um, Cuphead when they released those specifically. They added their DLCs built in. Oh, God. That would have been like agitating otherwise. Eggcon almost looks like an eye. I thought I deleted it. Do it again. I'll do it again. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Off in nightmare. Bayonetta with the physical boxes, us into buying codes for the second one. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, like, Bayonetta came with a digital code for the second game, but not the original game? The original game came on a cartridge? What? Why is it inversed? Because I remember for the, U at least for us in the US, the second game was in the box, the original was in DLC. But you know what's funny too about that? They then made a physical copy anyways! But that was, like, years afterwards. I think this was when they were trying to, re like, re-release... Oh, no, when they announced Bayonetta 3, they're like, Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a physical copy of Bayonetta 1 now. And I'm like... I literally, and I, I remember this whole thing, I wanted a screen. So I was like... Why do that?! Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. What?! That's stupid. That's horse crap. No, I got a physical copy of 2. But no, they made a physical copy like years later for one, and I got so pissed off because I'm like, what is the point of this? This is so inane because people who would have cared about it would have bought it when it initially launched with two, and now it's just like this is a collector's item, and I know that's gonna get more expensive. It's kind of like how, um, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Two: Torn of the Golden Country got a physical copy, and that has become significantly the most expensive Xenoblade game ever because it's technically DLC that's essentially playable on its own. Because it became its own separate entity, but it could be played in Xenoblade 2. And not a lot of people bought it because most people who cared about Xenoblade 2 would have bought it for the DLC pack rather than as an individual game. So that game immediately came being expensive. 
important matters. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. Though I will say, I've heard now that I've heard both of the uh, voice actors for the character of Ethor. There is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Oh, that was oh yeah, no no no. Ruin. I speak of uh, what was it saying? Oh yeah, uh, Igor's voice actor. I'm, don't get me wrong, I don't hate the original voice actor, but I'm like, this one feels a little bit more like must be rehabilitated, enforcing and sort of like toward freedom. deviant, like, not deviant, like devilish. Don't you know what I mean? Ruin. Like I've always found Igor as like kind of this devilish character, and I think the other one like it was a little too higher up on the register for me to think of it like as that. I found it more like fair enough. But then again, I didn't grow up with this series. The only one that I kind of first heard was this one, and then I went retroactively backwards. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Like the first thing, the first uh, area, and like that's it. After that, I have me. no clue. To left, you see. They serve as wardens here. <laughs> and then the other personas. I know for four, I started the first area, and I got no, I got to the first boss, and then I lost. I lost spectacularly against I don't remember her name for the life of me, the, the the one student like like supposed to be the uh, the the daughter of the famous. That's it. That's the as far as I got with four, and then three I never started. I don't want to sleep. Let me out! And then I know for four, the velvet room is like a car? No, it's a limousine. I have no idea what threes look like. Oh, I, I doubt when I have no... Looks like you're up. Oh, hey, soldier. What's up? Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. I don't know why I'm imagining saying, m'lady. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. Hello? Okay. The Aoyama district. Ooh, It'll baby. Take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle, too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Damn, homeboy has a car in Japan? That's actually kind of a crazy notion, because like most people in Japan do not drive. They don't. Most of them don't even have a driver's license. Think about. It. Okay. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care what happens. To just don't cause me any trouble. It's like, oh, I don't care if you fall apart in front of me. I just don't want it to be my problem. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Okay, dog. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. I won't push it, promise. The teacher in charge of your class. Wait, what? What do you mean, what? Really? From what I heard, it was the opposite. Is that a lot of people didn't drive. Maybe maybe I misheard the statistic. My bad. Hey, I'll, I'll admit to be wrong. That's the, that's what I remember someone from Japan telling me. Someone who lived there for a while. Like, oh, they don't, they don't drive. In the city, at least. I was like, I, they don't drive in this. They'll drive in, like, other parts of Japan, the more, like, rural parts, but not in. Yeah. Plus, the... I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Plus, I mean, hell, I'll even admit, their, like, freaking public transit is amazing over there. Like, hot goddamn. Like, hell, I want that here. Shit, dude. Man, like, our public transit is shit! Be sure to read the school rules. Plus the fact that it's different across the board. Like, there's no unified system. It's like, there's multiple individual systems per, like, 
uh, area, and then it changes it drastically depending on the part of the place that I live in. Go to. It's super annoying. They only take you as far as you can, and it's and and if by chance you more directly to like better, like much more further be places. Protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa. But again, if I'm wrong on the on the on the uh, people driving in Japan wrong thing, I, hey, I'll admit wrong. Hey, I'm stupid sometimes. I that's from what is all I've heard. I could be very very wrong. I never see facts unless I actively. But really though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. So quite a bit, actually. Never mind, I was wrong. Okay, cool. I guess I was wrong. Son, please keep a close eye on him. That's actually quite a bit. Yeah, that's more than. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Hell yeah. All right. Okay, so now I have to call it here. Everyone's giving I will see you guys all tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching Mini Boy Riker with Persona 5. Uh, I seriously appreciate y'all coming out. Seriously, it means a lot to me. Y'all come out and do all this stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, we're doing something special tomorrow. Take care. Keep being awesome because at the end of the day, there's a thousand other things besides spending time with me. It's a lot. I'll see you guys. Oh, no, no. I will. Trust me. I will. Uh, what's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to turn off the switch. I then will come back tomorrow and stream a little bit of this be like hey can you give me like 10 seconds to be done with this and then save it and then come back to the initial game that we're going to be doing so yeah uh oh huh have uh more car wow that's actually kind of crazy really san marino oh. hell how the hell do they have more cars than people how's that even possible For the question, what you guys have big goddamn garages Utopia? like where are you how old are you are you friendly like that's those kind of stuff welcome Until this time i'm ending it this is this is for real this time i'm not lying Message. If you guys have emails, I highly recommend using them. If you don't, that's totally understandable. Uh, take care, guys. Bye.